Now this is a very beautiful problem because the actual way of doing this problem it's a little bit uh, crooked or twisted than what we actually think. Okay, so let's see how to solve this problem. Uh, and of course, in the real exam, I might stay try to stay away from this problem. But of course, right now I have to solve. So the, the, we are looking for how many different possible values of p plus q plus r. Okay, how many possible values of p plus q plus r that satisfy this condition, where p, q, and r are natural numbers, not necessarily distinct. It can repeat. It. So we are looking for the places where one by p plus one by q plus one by r will become 1 and we have to you know find such values the first example which comes to satisfy this condition is 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 because I know this is going to be 1 plus 1 plus 1 whole by 3 or 3 by 3 simply 1 therefore p is equal to q is equal to r is equal to 3 everything is equal to 3 is an option and because of the same reason p plus q plus r that is 3 plus 3 plus 3 which is 9 is one of the possible values of p plus q plus r. See that's the one which comes to us as soon as we see a problem like this. But the remaining problems that's where the trick lies. Before directly solving this let me find out uh, some, some uh, reciprocals that means 1 by 2 is equal to 0 0.5, 1 by 3 is equal to 0 0.33 like it will go indefinitely. 1 by 4 is equal to 0 0.25, 1 by 5 is equal to 0 0.2, 1 by 6, what is 1 by 6? Uh, if you do 1 by 6, it will be 0 0.167, around to 1, 0 point, I'll round it to 0 0.17, 1 by 8, and that will be very small, I can, oh, I missed 1 by 7, 1 by 7 1 divided by 7 that's going to be a value like was 0 0.14 let it let's stop here now if you look at this we are adding these values okay i'm not taking one because that itself will make a big one so we cannot add anything to that if you look at the bottom values we are adding these values you know taking three of them and adding them you can even repeat to make this one now interestingly the first thing which we took that is 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 that is 0.33 plus 0.33 plus 0.33 once adding this three times we are easily getting one now imagine if one of our value was like p q or r if it is 2 then we are again going to get 0 0.5 so let's if r is equal to 2 then 1 by p plus 1 by q is equal plus is equal to or plus 1 by 2 is equal to 1 and this simply means this is 0 0.5 taking this to the other side I will get 1 minus 0 0.5 and that's nothing much 0 0.5 that basically means if I want to get 1 by p plus 1 by q plus 1 by r as 1 1 by p plus 1 by q should become 0 0.5 okay now if you look at this value I cannot take this value because I need to make 1.5 from two places. If you look at this value, is, is there any combination where you are going to get 0.5? This and this, mm, 0.33 plus 0.25, it will not become, no, it will become too much. It will become greater than 0.5. Uh, we don't want it to become greater than 0.5. So if you take this and this, that is 0.5333, even that will not satisfy. But if you take this and this, okay, oh wait, this, taking this two times will work, 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25, that is 0 0.5, so that's another combination, that is if one of the value is 2, if one of the value is 2, we have to take 4 two times, therefore, we already find P, P plus Q plus R to be 3 plus 3 plus 3, Similarly, p plus q plus r can also be, if one of the value is 2, you just have to take 4 two times, 2 plus 4 plus 4, you will get 10. That's another possible value of p plus q plus r. Because we made this thing because of that, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 will be 1. Again, 
if one of the value is 2 if one of the value is 2 okay instead of this there is another possibility also we have our objective is to make 0.5 right if one is 0.5 we took this two times now this is another possibility 1 by 3 and 1 by 6 0 0.33 plus 0 0.17 See, you are going to get 0.5. If you want to, you can also check 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6 into 2 into 2. You will get 2 plus 1 by 6, 3 by 6, which simply is 1 by 2, which is 0 0.5. That basically means 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 2 is going to become, this is 0.5. This is also 0.5. You are going to get 1. So that's another combination. That is, one value is 2, another value is 3 another value is 6 1 2 1 3 and 6 so p plus q plus r not 1 2 3 and 6 that's 11 so that's the third value first value is p second value is of the sum okay 10 and third value is 11 now if you look at any other possibilities doubling this is not a possibility that will create two a big number this we already took this doubling is useless this is useless this is useless taking combination this two will be too big this two will also be too big greater than 0.5 this two okay that we already took if we take this two we will not get a value 0 0.33 plus 0 0.14 see it's not getting five now in fact if we according to the laws of uh, fractions if by taking this value with this itself this is the biggest value other than 0.5 with this itself we are not able to get 0.5 all the value below this will be less than this so there is no point in searching so all the combination which involves 2 has already been completed now let's take the next greatest value of these reciprocals and that is when we are taking 0.333 that's the one which we already took 0.333 1 by 3 is 0.333 we're taking it three times we already got one and that's the first time was first thing which we wrote now imagine so every combination of two is done okay now we will not consider this now we are taking one of the value as three taking this three times is already done now taking this once or let's say taking this two times taking this two times will give you 0 0.66 so 1 by p plus 1 by q plus 1 by r is equal to 1 taking this also 3 this also 3 this will give 0 0.66 plus 1 by r is equal to 1 taking 0 0.66 to the other side you will find 1 minus 0 0.66 that is 1 by r should be 0 0.34 okay 1 by 0 0.34 so if you look at the value from here 0 0.34 other than this three no one else can provide that thing in fact this is less uh, you know three 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 four is basically a rounded form okay it's actually three 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 something so of course there is no value which can satisfy other than three okay so taking three two times is also useless now taking three ones like one of the value is three one of the value is three then we have to then we will get 1 by p plus 1 by q plus let's say one of the value is 3 and this is 0 0.33 taking this to the other side you will get 1 minus 0 0.33 like uh, 1 minus 0 0.33 you will get 0 0.67 let's round it to 0 0.67 so adding two of these values should give me 0 0.67 is there any value which can satisfy that if you are not taking 3 0.67 this plus this will not create this is plus this is just 0 0.45 it is not even near 0 0.67 in fact none of the other value can if even if you double this thing this is the great you know next greatest other than 1 by 2 and 1 by 3 next greatest is 1 by 4 so even doubling it only creates 0 0.5 you will not get 0 0.67 all the value below will be less smaller so there is no other co possible combination which is going to create a number which is greater than or equal to 0.67 so there is no point in searching so if one of the value is 1 by 3 then all the value uh, I, I imagine if you are not taking this 2 okay then there is no way just by you know we can create that combination from below 
so all the combination of three is also done now if you take let's say one of the value is four and we are not going to above because we already considered all the combination of that if one of the value is four this is, you are going to get 0.25 so 0 0.25 plus 1 by p plus 1 by q is equal to 1 taking this to the other side you will get 1 by p plus 1 by q is 0 0.75 and of course you cannot make that even if you double the greatest value you will only get the 0 0.5 there is no point in searching you cannot make it so you only found three combinations okay where one of one see here the order doesn't matter okay if p can be 2 q can be 4 r can be 4 or or the other way uh, q can be 2 p can be 4 order doesn't matter because in every place it's addition so different combination that way is possible but the combinations of p plus q plus r only three values are there 9 10 9 11 there is nothing else which are going to happen so the answer for this problem is 3 the combined the possible values of p plus q plus r is 3 and i don't i, I wouldn't do this problem in the examination hall because i will be actually confused a little bit i would think that maybe if there is a single more value i might get the answer so the answer will become wrong etc but if i did this analysis i will clearly know that only three answers are there uh, but again doing this analysis in the examination hall will take like five six seven minutes for me so i wouldn't try to you know uh, like i will only do this problem in the last not uh, not in the first few rounds Anyway, the answer for this problem is...